Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm Don't Fight Ducks, and today I'm going to be playing the demo for Dredge. It's an upcoming, I think in 2023, um, I think they describe it as a sinister fishing horror adventure. <laughs> but it's kind of like somebody put a fishing game and a horror game together. Um, I'm recording this after I played it, and I think this game is going to be a really big hit when it comes out. All right, y'all, before I jump in, I'm going to take a quick look at the settings. Um, I noticed they have some accessibility settings, including relaxed fishing mode. Uh, it says enable this if you're having difficulty completing the fishing or dredging mini games. Um, I really like that. I love that. Um, I've heard of people having trouble with other fishing mini games, like, say, in Stardew Valley. Um, so I think it's really awesome that they included that. Uh, but they have a couple of other things here. Some of it I don't understand. <laughs> uh, but anyway, other options. Let's get into it. New game. Dredging the Depths. I love that. I'm, I'm so excited for this game to come out. I haven't played the demo yet. I hope I like it. Uh, but just looking at the Steam page and trailer and stuff, it looks amazing. Job listing. Angler wanted. Oop, my cursor's being captured. I will fix that in just a moment after this cutscene. Oh, we crashed our boat. That's not good. <laughs> Not a very good lighthouse, I have to say. I mean, aren't lighthouses explicitly designed to prevent this sort of thing? <laughs> Send feedback, F10. Lighthouse doesn't work. The morning light fills your eyes, and you try to sit upright. You're lying on the cold, wet dock where you collapsed the night before. A short man is shouting orders at a handful of workers, dis disembarking from a boat nearby. The man notices you. Welcome to the Greater Marrow. I must say, quite the dramatic first impression. I see you've already introduced yourself to the jagged rocks along the bay. Did you not see the lighthouse? It was shining right at you. Ah well, I'm glad to see our new fisherman upright and breathing. Your boat was hopelessly damaged, but I've had a few of the locals move your things to one of our old vessels. We'll catch up later to discuss more details. I'll let you get out there to catch some fish. See if you can fill your cargo while you get your bearings in the light. Finally, I don't suppose I need to say this, but get back by sundown before the fog rolls in. Keep a close eye on the time. It can really creep up on you. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I guess this is our menu. Uh, let me let me fix the uh, the mouse capture here real quick. Properties, capture cursor. Okay, that's disabled. Oh, wait, but now you can't even see what I'm clicking on. I guess we need the cursor. <laughs> okay, bring it back. Capture cursor. Here we go. All right. Uh, undock. Oh, we also have a boat up here, a tab. Actually, wait, I wonder if I can... Nope, looks like it's mouse controlled. Move forward with W. Use S to reverse. Turn with A and D. Cool. Broom. <laughs> Okay, so our boat's got little uh, tank controls. We can move the camera around. Uh, rotate the camera with the mouse. Adjust height with the mouse wheel. Oh, I think it said that. Uh, move to a fishing spot. Look for the splashes and then press F to start fishing. Oh, there's a fishing spot right there. Let's fish. Uh, start fishing. Stock high. Coastal. Boat speed. Catchable fish types. Okay, we have like a... Um, Oh, I guess the inventory is shaped like our boat. I like that. Peculiar engine. Someone tuned this engine in an unfamiliar way. Whatever they did seems to have given it more power than normal. Interesting. And our basic fishing pole. Splintered and fragile, this rod is only capable of catching the smallest of fish. <laughs> Looks like we're only catching minnows today. All right, start fishing. Um, I guess we stop it on the green? Oh. Oh, I got a blue mackerel. Okay, don't know what I'm doing, but let's go. Oh. Okay, so I think I have to press the F key again on the green. And sometimes it just seems like I automatically catch a fish. Maybe I push it every time it goes across the green. Okay. <laughs> sure. Oh, looks like we uh, looks like we fished this one. All right, I see a couple more out here. Yeah, I really love the visual style of this game. Looks like we have we have one little town over there, have a little town over there. Ooh, boy, I wonder what that big building is over there. 
So I wonder how long this game takes to get sp spooky. <laughs> Disturbed water, stock medium. Okay. Ooh, we got a cod. Uh, species added to the encyclopedia. Oh, okay. So we kind of got a... Uh, we kind of got like a Resident Evil 4 attache case inventory. I like this. You know, it's really funny because I was playing Resident Evil 4 on stream the other day. And I caught an amazingly large fish in the game. Just, you know, stabbed it in the water. And I wanted to put it in my inventory and I had to spend about five minutes rearranging things. <laughs> just to get a fish in my inventory. So it's really funny that we have Resident Evil 4 fish inventory in this game. Alright. Uh-oh. Oh. Okay. So if you... Wait, can I... Can I... Oh, I can... Yeah, Tetris the fish. Hell yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Stock depleted. Okay, can I move some fish around here? Um, maybe I can... Oh, I can't move my fishing pole. Okay, then. I'm trying to figure out how we can uh, maximize our fish space here. So I think if I put this... Yeah, if I put one of these guys up here, I can put another one here. Uh, time only advances when you're moving, fishing, or taking other specific actions. Oh, that's cool. Okay. So I see it's Monday at 1220. If I'm spinning around, time increases. Interesting. I like that. It, it, it kind of it makes it chill, you know? So time is not constantly advancing on you. You can, you can stop and take a breather. So, where are our other fish? Oop, I see some over there. Vroom. Yum. <laughs> Disturbed water. You don't have the right equipment for this spot. Well, bummer. Okay. Uh, what else can we do? I see some over there. So, I do wonder what happens if you're out too late before the fog rolls in. Ooh, there's something glowing out there. Is that a... It almost looks like a message in a bottle. I'll go grab that after I get this fishing spot. Oh, I don't have the right equipment for that spot either. All right, then. Let's go get this message in a bottle. I think that's what it is. Yeah. How do we get it? Can I just bump into it? Collect the item. 20th of August, 1927, added to cabin. Pursuits, map, encyclopedia, and messages. Morning of the second day of the honeymoon, and our first day proper. Today we're sailing around the islands and inlets of the Greater Marrow, at the back of the Greater Marrow. I love the rocks here. The layers and the colors are so striking. Furthermore, the fishing is relatively poor in these shallows, so I know he will keep his hands on the wheel instead of the rods. He renamed the boat last night, Julie. He did a fancy renaming ceremony and everything. I think he took that a lot more seriously than the wedding. Oh, no. Supposedly, it's very important to perform it correctly, lest you want ill fortune to follow the vessel. He wanted to throw away everything with the old name on it, but I kept the keychain. Ocean's Riches was a good name. I think he has prepared a surprise picnic lunch. I can see the basket half-hidden stuffed under the blanket at the front of the cabin. I love it when he tries to be romantic. I, this is, um, the, the guy being described in this note is absolutely the kind of person who would have the women want me fish fear me hat. <laughs> I love that. I like that there's little lore bottles. Pursuits. Catch a fish or two. Um, met the mayor, sent me to catch some fish and find my bearings. Seems nice enough. Warned me to be back before nightfall, though. Said something about fog. Bit dramatic. Okay, so this game has a lot of, a lot of flavor text. I like that. Map? Uh, not available, not available in demo, not available in demo, but we have the Greater Merrill. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, you know, I'll probably say that in the intro. I was going to talk about how this is a demo of a game that's not out yet. Uh, so we have our blue mackerel, our cod. Okay, we have a downright fishipedia. I like the, uh, the, what, what was that? What is that? What is that? That looks like a... Oh, it's a crab. <laughs> it's a crab. I thought, I thought it was like, uh, you know, like, a, like some kind of cryptid. Like, these are big fins and that was its head. No, it's a crab. Okay, so nothing, uh, nothing too wild in the Fishipedia yet. Okay, okay, that's getting a little more spooky. 
anglerfish. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna mash all. Whoa, whoa, what is that? There's a lot of fish in this game. How far does this go? Wait, 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 wait. Aberrations. Aberrate. Okay, so that's a coelacanth. I know that much. The rest of these, though. Oh, we're getting into some downright spooky stuff here. <laughs> that one looks gnarly. Oh my god. Yeah, I guess I guess if you're gonna have a fishing game, you should probably put a lot of fish in it. Okay, I just want to see the end of this. 128 fish. Alright. Okay, so... Uh, it doesn't look like we can catch much else unless we get some more, uh... Little spots by the... Oh, hello! Can I catch you? Backing up. Can boats back up? I'm not sure. Aha, we can fish here. Ooh. Ding, ding, ding. Ooh, trophy caught. Got a little blue mackerel. Uh, so it seems like for the fishing minigame, just tap the fishing button when it crosses the green. Very chill, I like that. I could see it getting a bit repetitive, though. So I wonder if they're going to add any, uh, wrinkles to the gameplay. Oh, hmm. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so, rotate, dis I guess I'm gonna have to discard this? Because I can't swap it with anything else. Oh, wait, I can. Okay, there we go. Um, I think that might be all the fish I can hold. What if I turned you like that? Turned you like that. Yeah, I think we're full up on fish. <laughs> there may be a way to squeeze one more fish in here, but it is getting a bit late. Let's head back. Select your lights by holding E, and then toggle them with the mouse button. Oh, we have a radio menu. Oh, we have lights, we have a foghorn! And a spyglass, get a closer look, can identify fishing spots at a distance. Oh, I like that. So what is this sparkle over here? I want to use my spyglass. Ooh, ooh, a dredge spot. Okay, I hope I do get to do some dredging here. So there's a... I noticed at the top of the thing, there's like a little red-green sparkly. I don't know what that is. Okay, but this is really cool. Um, especially considering that you do have to move around to find fishing spots. This can, this can help you not waste time. Alright, what else do we have? Foghorn! You know I gotta try that out. <laughs> Coming home! You know, it sounds, it doesn't sound much like a foghorn, it sounds more like a, I don't know, like a cheap synthesizer recreation of a foghorn. <laughs> I don't think this boat has a real foghorn on it. Okay, I forgot what I was doing. Oh yeah, lights, we're, we're trying the lights out. Click, lights on. Cool. Alright, so let's bring it back in. Uh oh, oh, dock. Oh, hold F to dock, there we go. You step onto the dock at Greater Marrow. The mayor is waiting nearby. Ah, I see you returned in one piece. Very good. Before you head off to town, we should discuss the matter of your boat. As I mentioned earlier, your old boat was badly damaged. Too badly damaged to be repaired. However, I'm more than happy to sell you that replacement vessel. Yours to own. I understand you may not have the necessary funds on hand, so we'll consider it a loan. But I want to make this easy for you. Until your debt is repaid, a tiny portion of your fish sales will go towards paying it off. A small amount of interest will go towards improving the town. So, to recap, you'll need to sell fish to the local market, paying off your debt and in turn keeping the population fed and satisfied. Understand? Where do I sell the fish? Our local fishmonger will appraise your purchase appraise and purchase what you catch. He's open at all hours. Off you go then. Sell those fish while they're still fresh. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we got a storage fishmonger. You enter a squalid shack on the fringe of the marketplace. The familiar smell of fish fills the air. 
Flies buzz haphazardly around a downcast man behind the counter. You're the new fisherman, eh? Surprised they found a new one so fast. Uh, what happened to the other one? He... It takes a certain type of person to last out here. It's not a life for everyone. Anyway, to business. I'll pay you for the fish. Bigger and fresher means more money. Some species are just worth more, too. Other towns on other islands might pay you different, but while you've still got a debt outstanding here, I'd suggest you work on paying it off first. So, let's see what you got. Oh, we got some gold ones. Hopefully those are valuable. Alright, let's start with these. Uh, blue mackerel. I can sell that for $12. Cool. Let's see, our cod is $17. Nice. 1686, 1693. Okay, so I guess it's based on... They all have different sizes here. Yeah, let's just sell them all. There we go. And we have $128.53. Not bad. Turn to 10. Is that it? Is that all I can do with the fishmonger? I suppose it is. The mayor is standing outside the fishmonger's store. Excellent work. I've no doubt you'll be able to provide for this town. Look here. I found this down by the docks. I'm sure someone like you can make something of it. Why don't you take it? Uh, this is a... Oh, research part. A curious-looking component could be used to develop new equipment, but would need some investigation at a dock first. I will take that. One last thing. Our local shipwright mentioned that you might be able to make some modifications to your ship. You should pay her a visit. I will do that. As you walk into the yard, you see the shipwright making repairs to a damaged hull. She looks up at you briefly before turning back to her work. You must be the new fisherman. I can make improvements to your vessel in the yard. Mind you, I'm not in the business of doing favors around here. Payment is up front, and everything takes some time to install. Also, if you take any damage from the rocks, or any damage at all, I can patch it up. Mostly. What other things would cause me damage? <laughs> Foreshadowing. She shrugs and gestures towards the hull she's currently attempting to repair. A number of wooden boards, all well above the waterline, are splintered and scratched. Foreshadowing. Take a look around. Just remember, the bigger the equipment, the longer it takes to install. So plan ahead. Alright, what do we got? Uh, we have a simple skimmer, catch a shallow. A lightweight rod suited to catching fish that live in the shallows. A small spool makes for a limited reeling speed, however. And this is a weighted line for the shallows. Uh, strengthened lines can catch larger and deeper fish. All right, so. Oh, I see. We have little spots where we can attach different upgrades. I like that. Um, well, I think the game wants me to buy a fishing rod. <laughs> Uh, okay, I can turn it. Two hours to install. What else do we have here? Uh, rusty outboard engine. Well, I can't afford any of this, but... Did these do the same thing? Oh, I see. Maybe I could put, like, two engines on there. Trawl nets. And different lights, too. Cracked bulb. Cloudy lens. So right now, I think we're just operating with a little lantern. Okay, um, let's go back to town. Ship loan repairments. Wow, we only have $27 to pay off this boat. That's a, that's a pretty affordable boat. Okay, undock rest research. Research parts. Hydraulic rod. Flexible fishing pole. Improved outboard engine. Pots, nets. Um, oh, okay, I see, I see. That thing that the mayor gave us is a part that we can spend on research. Mechanically assisted reels allow the catching of significantly larger species. Not available in the demo. <laughs> Not available in the demo. Not available in the demo. Okay, I don't, I don't think we're going to be doing any uh, upgrading in the demo, but the system is there. Um, this is really exciting. I love the, I love the boat tech tree. So, looks like we are probably going to bed. Unless we want to do some night fishing. <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea. Was that a... What was that? 
Did y'all see that red pillar of light in the background? It's gone now. Okay. Well, back to fishing. Can't wait to try my new fishing rod out. Actually, wait before we do that. Uh, let's try our telescope. Let's look for some fishing spots. I see a cod out there. Ooh, sparklies. I do wonder what the sparklies are. Oh, hello. Inspect. A floating buoy. Buoy? 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 Buoy. I think it's buoy. <laughs> it serves to mark safe passage past dangerous rocks and obscured hazards. Its dim light also provides a brief respite in the gloom of the night. Cool. Alright, fish. Boom. Disturbed water. Start fishing. Oh. Oh, I, oh no, I pushed the wrong button. <laughs> uh, but we still got a golf flounder. Oh, that's a big boy. Yeah, I forgot that I have to push the F key to fish. I was uh, clicking the left mouse button. That's a big boy that is really clogging our inventory. I guess if we do fill it all up, we can... Uh... Oh no, I shouldn't catch another one of these. So I don't... Oh wait. Okay, we can do that. There we go, we can fit one more. So probably I'm going to hit up one fishing spot, and then go back to town to sell. Ooh, what is that? Some kind of eel? I think I see... This looks like a shark out there. Yeah, that looks vaguely like a shark. Disturbed water, start fishing. Oop. Crap. We have a... That's a long one. <laughs> uh, I don't think... Yeah, I don't think we're going to catch anything else here. Let's go back to town. Like, I don't think... We do have storage. Yeah, that was a great eel. A slimy creature tainted with the silt and muck of the seabed. Okay, head into the fishmonger so we can clear out our inventory. And actually, I really want to go over there and see what this is. Maybe it's like an inspection of the lighthouse. The lighthouse towers above. Waves crash endlessly against the perilous rocks below. All creatures, human or otherwise, would have their brittle bodies broken and thrown at its feet. You ponder the intrinsic power of this structure. A vast column of stone, shouldering the responsibility of countless lives. How long will it stand? How long until it decays into ruin, its purpose exhausted? The lighthouse towers above. Ho ho ho! Poetic. Thinking about, you ever hear that, uh, They Might Be Giant song? Birdhouse in Your Soul? It's, a uh, it's about a bird-shaped nightlight. And, uh, there's, there's one line in it. I think it says, there's a picture opposite me of my primitive ancestry which stood on rocky shores and kept the beaches shipwreck free. And then the uh, the nightlight goes on to muse that if it did have the job of a lighthouse, it'd probably be fired. <laughs> After causing several boats to crash. Okay, so Fishmonger. I wonder if selling fish takes time. Fishmonger says, I've had a special order come through from, from a customer. If you can fulfill it, I'll pay you above normal prices. Okay, tell me about the order. They asked me for one golf flounder and one gray eel. Just bring them in when you have them. Well, that's convenient. You'll need to have a rod that can handle shallow waters. Shallow water fish in order to catch those. The shipwright should be able to sort that out for you. Have you got any fish for that order? Yeah, I do. Just leave whatever you have here. I'll keep the order on ice until it's ready to go. I love the Tetris inventory. Sold for 50 bucks, heck yeah, we own our boat now, I think, maybe, I'm not sure. Uh, the fishmonger wraps up the fish and hands you some money. Good, good. They should be pleased with these. I've got another order here. This one's a little more curious. They want a couple of squid and a whole black grouper. Don't see many people fishing squid these days. They only feed at night. And well, you know what nights are like around here. Good luck. 
I mean, aside from the one where I crashed my boat, I don't actually know what knights are like around here. Wait, what do you say? Not all schools of fish are the same. Some contain abnormal specimens. Sometimes you can even tell they're just tell, just looking from the surface. Cool. Can I sell my fish? Oh yeah, it's F to sell a fish. Fish is sold. There we go. What do we have? $151. We could use that. It's 14, 16. Uh, if we're trying to catch some squid at night, we shallow, shallow, weighted line. Hmm, catches larger and deeper fish. I kind of want the, the big reel. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now what do I do with my other one? <laughs> uh, I can sell it or I can discard it. Let's sell it. We don't need two shallow fishing rods. Okay, it's now 1716. It's a little dark out, but you know, that's fine. Wait, can I talk to the mayor? Uh, mayor says, what can I do for you? I'd like to ask about the wider region. What happened to the last fisherman? Hmm? The last fisherman? Oh, he was very unreliable. He'd go out at night, come back with no fish, and proceed to sleep all day. He was also a terrible captain. I mean, really terrible. Constantly running aground on the reef even in the broad daylight. The shipwright almost ran out of wood for repairs. No, no, he was no good. One evening he left and never came back. So long, he shan't be missed by us. Now, what else can I do for you? Uh, yeah, tell me about the wider region. Certainly. Is there somewhere particularly particular you wish to know about? Uh, tell me about the Gale Cliffs. Well, the main port over there is a place called Ingfell. It's right on the approach to the cliffs. You can't miss it. It's a whaling town, but I haven't heard much talk of it these days. I think quite a few people have left one way or another. Is there another area you'd like to discuss? Uh, tell me about Stellar Basin. Quite a popular tourist destination. There is a, there's a resort on the atoll built on top of a beautiful coral reef. I'm sure there's a wider variety of fish there. Maybe a fancy getting your hooks in some of those. <laughs> Is there another area you'd like to discuss? Yes, tell me about Twisted Sand. Hmm, I don't think there's much to tell. Just a tangled mass of trees. It's often blanketed in a thick fog, even during the day. You want some good lights and a good sense of direction if you're going to go exploring there. Is there another area you'd like to discuss? Uh, tell me about the, the spookily named Devil's Spine. Ah, yes. It's quite exciting, really. An active volcano amongst a city of ancient ruins. Oh, heck yeah. I must caution against sailing there, however. The ruins lie low in the water and would surely tear through your hull. Not to mention the aforementioned volcano could erupt at any moment. You can occasionally hear it rumbling from here. Is there any other area you'd like to discuss? Ancient ruins. I love it. Okay, uh, let's pay off some of our debt. Of course, how much would you like to repay? All of it. Cha-ching! Fantastic! Now, what else can I do for you? Uh, I think that's it. Alright, let's attempt some night fishing. Maybe. <laughs> I do wonder what's going to happen to me if the fog rolls in. Alright. Do some fishing. Uh, yeah, sure blue mackerel. I'm sure even if we find some squid. Still not sure what the, the little anchor symbol means up here. Oh, hey, we found a squid. Squid, squid, squid. Yeah, give me more squid. <laughs> what was the other thing that we needed? A black grouper? I'm gonna get as many squid as I can in the meantime, though. What is that eyeball up there? You know? It's time to turn the lights on. Nope, the lights are already on. Spooky night fishing. Exposure to fog and other things can increase your panic. Bright lights and sleeping will reduce it. Okay. There's a panic meter. Well, maybe, maybe we can get some black grouper tomorrow. 
<laughs> we already got plenty of squid. So I'm thinking that maybe that curved meter up there that's slowly depleting is the panic meter. Oh, and there's that spooky red light again. Hang on, what is over there? Where's my map? Where's map? Map? Map. I forgot where the map was. M? There's the map. Uh, nope. No possible hints of what could be over there on the other side of the island. Spooky, though. What if the fishmonger's awake? The mayor is walking quickly towards you. He seems to be in a good mood with a spring in his step. Fantastic news. Thanks partly to your efforts, Greater Marrow is growing. I, I, I've been here two days, what the heck? Um, our town is sure to be swarming with visitors any day now. In fact, I've granted a consent for the shipwright to expand her facilities. The old dry dock is operational again. I've also relocated some money to improve the fishmonger's services. He might have something to talk to you about soon. Keep up the good work. We're glad you've chosen to be here with us. Yay! I'm helping. Shipwright says, this is the dry dock. We can make significant improvements to your vessel here. We're talking extra space, more attachment points for equipment, and even superior hulls. We'll need a decent stock of hard materials for these projects. Lumber, metal, scraps, that sort of thing. How do I get materials? There's plenty of decent materials around the coast, from various shipwrecks and the like. I'm sure you'll find a way to get them. Materials assigned towards upgrades here will be stored, so don't worry if you only have half of what you need. Cool. Not available in the demo. <laughs> uh, but we can look at what we have. Uh, we have more rod spaces, net spaces, engine spaces, light spaces, new hulls, and then, you know, or that. So, let's go to the hmm, fishmonger. I don't. Not right now. You hold on to the fish for now. I probably don't want to hold on to the fish for now because I don't want to don't want a stinky squid. <laughs> I don't want my squid to go bad. Like, yeah, there is a freshness meter. Have you seen that strange red light at night? Seem to be rising from the west. No, no further info? No further info? You don't know what it is either? Oh god, okay. Um, yeah, I guess we're gonna hang on to our squid. Let's go to bed for the night, though. A hunched woman approaches you from the steps of the lighthouse. She stops some distance away and looks at you with concern and visible apprehension. Lighthouse keeper! Why are you here? I've come to fish. There's nothing here for something like you anymore. Do yourself a favor and move on. She turns and shuffles back along the path that leads to the light. Oh. Wanted to talk to her some more, but okay, oh well, whatever. Fishy time. Oh, the mayor has something to say. Mayor says, just the person I was hoping to see. Will you be sailing out east towards Little Marrow? Would you give this package to the dock worker there, please? Uh, yeah. I will do that. Take package. The mayor hands you a small, ew, damp package bound in string. It's dripping slightly? I hope it's a fish. The dock worker will pay you upon delivery. Please be quick. I don't want it to spoil. Oh, okay. I think it is a fish. Don't forget to check your compass and map if you get lost. I will do that. So, let's undock. So, little marrow, huh? I'm guessing it's that red X. <laughs> Oops. My boat's uh, kind of drifting a little bit. Is that little marrow? Hang on. Okay, so right now we are facing north. And, okay, that is Little Marrow across the way. Let's see if we can catch any fish on the way over. I see some over here. Okay, so I think that blue bar up here, I think that definitely is our, uh... Panic meter? 
That's a weird sound. Got a barbed eel. Ooh. A spine broken with sharp angles and crooked curves. A row of teeth bent on revenge. I think we caught a rare fish. These are long boys. <laughs> okay, so we're still looking for a black grouper. Let's see if we can find any with our telescope. Uh, that is a blue mackerel. That is a cod. That is a blue mackerel. Hmm. What about out there? Uh, gulf flounder, question mark. You know, I don't actually know what a black grouper looks like. I have no idea. <laughs> so, oh well. Um, oh, hang on. I see something over there. Ooh, some kind of stingray, manta ray type thing. That's interesting. Uh, but I'm going to go straight towards this one that's directly in my path. Maybe I'll try to get the manta ray when I come back. Because as far as I can tell, I, I don't think there's any time limit. Oops, I forgot that I pressed the F key. I don't think there's much time limit on these fish, as long as I'm, like, standing still. Tetris. <laughs> uh, yeah, we can squeeze you in there. Okay. If I turn you that way... Hmm. Yeah, okay. Moving on. Doc Erky says, Hmm, what? A delivery? Let's see here. He tears a small hole in the paper and peeks inside. You can't say for sure, but it feels as though he's shielding it from your view. Yeah, nice and fresh. This'll do nicely. I'm to pay you, I suppose. He hands you some money. $25. I was given this old book a few weeks back, but it didn't make much sense to me. You'll surely get more use out of it. This guy's making a lot of assumptions about me. He pulls a crumpled book from his back pocket and hands it to you. A number of pages are folded over. Keep it in your cabin. Perhaps you can read it while you're on the water. Stop by for a chat anytime. I know how lonely it can be. Hmm, so what is that book? Sustainable Fishing. On shelf. 0% complete. Read to unlock. I haven't read this yet. Okay. Select as active book. Pass time to read. Oh wow, that's a very interesting mechanic. Okay. Anything else we can do here? The trader, we can do storage. You enter a brightly lit shop. It's packed with antiques. The shelves full of jewelry and other baubles. An old man peers at you over silver spectacles. Hello? Is that... No. <laughs> I don't believe we met before. Man, there's a lot of old man voices in this game to do. My throat's starting to feel a little rough. Let me get a drink. Okay. Forgive my eyes. Forgive me, my eyes aren't what they used to be. I specialize in antiques and jewelry. I'll purchase any special trinkets you happen to have. Have you anything nice with you today, perhaps? Um, I, I have an eel. No? Okay. <laughs> no, I should... I should probably move, um... I should probably move this to storage. How do I move it to storage? We'll worry about that later. Or maybe I can do it right here. Storage? Uh, it almost looks like... It looks like it's both mouse buttons to move to storage. Maybe I just click it and pick it up. Where is storage? How to... Oh, storage is over here. <laughs> okay. There we go. Can I put my fish in storage? I guess I could, but I'm not sure why I would want to do that when I could just go straight to the fishmonger. Okay, let's undock and see if we can... Maybe get a maybe get a stingray, manta ray, something of that nature. Oh, there's a bottle over there. Got a stingray, which will not fit in my inventory. <laughs> okay. Uh uh. Well, I'd have to get rid of these two fish here, but I can only I think pick up one fish at a time. 
Yeah, we're gonna have to discard this one. Dang. Well, at least we caught it. Um, ooh, what is that? Materials? Do I just... Dredge. Shapes in the deep. You don't have the right equipment for this spot. Ah, oh, bummer. Okay, I was hoping to do some dredging. Well, we can at least get this bottle, though. Uh, 21st of August, 1927, added to cabin. Oh, this is the next day. We had a slight accident around the shallows at the back of the Greater Marrow. A rock seemingly appeared out of nowhere and struck the front of the boat. It did not penetrate the hull, but it jostled us around and a few, and a few items fell overboard into the water. We did not see what they were, which is of some concern, but we believe all important articles are accounted for. He's been checking over some notes from the boat renaming ceremony. He's paranoid that he performed the steps incorrectly. I've never known him to be so superstitious. I wonder if that's a thing in real life. Like, are, are boat renaming ceremonies real? Are there steps for them? <laughs> is there superstition about the ceremony going wrong? I suddenly want to go on Wikipedia and start reading about boats. But I think our... Eh, we can catch a few more fish. What do we got here? Blue mackerel. Yeah, I can fit those in my boat. Fish. 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 So I assume as we, as we probably upgrade our reel, um, we'll have more chances to... Let the thing go around. Oh, I can't fit this in here. Hmm. Okay. Sorry, fish. You go back. Well, why am I saying sorry to the fish? I'm throwing it back. It gets to live another day. <laughs> I kind of want to see... Yeah, no. This is a terrible idea. This is a terrible, terrible idea. I'm going to go around the back of the island. I want to see what that red light is. Probably should have bought a better light. <laughs> Ooh. What are these fish? Oh, I wonder if that's a black grouper. Let's find out. Because our squid's getting a little stinky. It's a black grouper! Who can I get rid of, though? Oh, God. Okay. Let's discard you for now. Um, let's discard... Ugh. Definitely gonna have to get rid of that cod. I'm... Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Move you down there. Fish Tetris. I think I'm gonna have to get rid of another cod. There we go. Move our squid down there. Okay, get us the black grouper. There we go. And that's all I'm doing. Oh, the red light. What is it? What is that? Oh my god, it's a shipwreck. You can see a ship down there. Shapes in the deep. Okay, we can't do that right now. Well, now the lighthouse is working. <laughs> Just gotta, just gotta get back to town. Nothing bad's gonna happen. Even though there is something sparkling over there, I'd love to go check it out. Uh-oh. What was that? Oh, God. Oh! Starting to not be able to see rocks in front of me. Or are the rocks really there? Did the rock just appear in front of me like the note said? <laughs> I love whoever thought, hey, let's make a spooky fishing game. Right now, it's... Oh my god, my light's starting to go out too? What the heck? Uh, let's go to the fishmonger right away. I do have the fish for that order. I hope the squid ain't too stinky. It's rotting. 
Oh no, it wanted two squid? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, that's fine. Okay. I guess we should probably sell our rotting squid. Uh, you hand the grotesque fish to the fishmonger. He grins, rising up to his face before inhaling a deep, stuttering breath. Ugh. Now this is the sort of specimen to liven up my day. Hmm. I wonder. He runs his fingers firmly along the length of the fish, as though feeling for something. He pushes from one side of its stomach, and a small shape can be seen against the bulging scales. He slices the fish open. From its stomach, he pulls a small piece of fabric and spreads it on the counter. It's a delicately patterned handkerchief. Handkerchief added to inventory. Well, I've never seen that before in all my days. I'll give you this thing. And I'll pay for the fish too, of course. It's not the first corrupted fish I've seen in these parts, so I'm sure you'll find more before too long. I'll pay you well if you find more. Um, a once beautiful handkerchief drawn from the insides of a grotesque fish patterned with a delicate crimson thread. I wonder if I can sell that to the, uh, the trinket vendor. Okay, so, sell our fish. Damage. We've taken one damage. Oh no. Three damage and I guess that's it. Oh crap, for every piece of damage we take, we lose an inventory spot. Yikes. A man looking at you... Wait, a man is looking at you through your cabin window. His face is mostly shallow. Oh, his face is mostly in shadow. Now I'm losing it. I know what you took to the fishmonger. And I'll be clear. I know he extracted an artifact from it. I need to inspect it. But not here. Meet me on Blackstone Isle. Head out of this bay and cut south. I have a business proposition that you'll want to hear. I'll be waiting. <laughs> Where's that at? Down here? Hi, Mayor. Um, nope, nothing to say to the mayor. All right, so we sold over all of our stuff with the fishmonger. Uh, let's go get our boat fixed. Your boat's looking a bit banged up. I can repair it here if you like. I would like that as soon as I find the repair. Oh, yep, repair option. Oh, wait, enter repair mode? Can I just... You can repair one spot at a time. That's cool. I like that. And I like that there's a repair all button. Okay, so how much money do we have? All right, we can't use this yet. <laughs> uh, but we may be able to buy some new lights. Uh, uh, we can definitely afford that. Cracked bulb, 500 lumens. Uh, these are 750 lumens, but we can't afford it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this. Nice. Hopefully that'll help <laughs> if I'm out late again. And I think that's about all the business I have to do. So let's go ahead and rest. And I wonder if our book has been read any. 60% complete. Nice. I like that. How you can set like an active book and your character just kind of passively reads it. No, 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 no. I didn't mean to do that. Did not mean to do that. Well, at least it's right out. <laughs> I was trying to undock and accidentally hit the sleep button. But did that read our book any? Sure did. Okay, so we're heading to that island to the south. Still need a squid, though. Let's see if we can do that real quick. All right, squid, where are you? Oh, yeah, actually, I think the squid only showed up at night. Yeah, so no point looking for those right now. Uh, so I think before I finish the demo, I would, I would like to try and turn on... Um, relaxed fishing mode. Let's turn that on. Just see what that does. I can't tell a difference. <laughs> I cannot tell a difference at all. Let me make sure I turned it on. 
Enable this if you're having difficulty completing the fishing minigames. With this setting enabled, it might take a bit longer, but you'll always successfully complete the minigame. Oh, okay. Oh, you know what that is? I bet maybe it just goes around and around until you, like, hit all the things. That's cool, though. I like that. So I think right now, about the only other thing I can buy for my boat is maybe the, uh, the upgraded light. Oh, wait, no, that's north. No, wait, that is south. Okay, I know how to read a compass. No, I don't. <laughs> Ooh, don't have the equipment for that spot right now. We're out in deeper waters. This is a cute little island. I love that house. Ah, uh, looks like only one person lives here, though. Man, that'd be kind of cool, just having your own rustic little island. Blackstone Isle. There's a workshop and a ruined mansion. Don't mind if I do. The man is standing in a doorway, watching you approach. He's holding an old book in one hand. It's bound in crimson with silver ribbons. You came. Good. Allow me to introduce myself. I am a collector of many things. Arts and artifacts, treasures and truths, and curios that occupy the periphery of desire. And you have something for me. You give the handkerchief to the collector. He holds it up to the flickering light and studies it. These patterns are unmistakable, even after all this time. This handkerchief comes from an old ship I've been searching for. It sank many years ago. You know, I think I know where it is. <laughs> it carried items of greater importance. As you can imagine, retrieving them is proving to be challenging. That's where you come in. My proposition is this. I'll outfit your vessel with equipment that will let you dredge your wrecks in dark depths. Find me these lost relics and I'll reward you in ways beyond all imagination. You need not give up your fishing career. I'll merely need a few hours with your vessel to make the necessary alterations. What do you say? <laughs> why would you let... Why would you click let me think about it? Okay, I accept. I accept your spooky proposition. An excellent decision. I'll prepare the equipment immediately. Ding ding. The relics you're looking for are a ring, a necklace, a watch, and a music box and a key. I would encourage you to ask around the towns about shipwrecks or other strange occurrences. Anything that might be worth investigating. Return when you have something. Ho ho ho, what's in the workshop? The workshop looks as though it hasn't been used in decades. Go inside. It's locked. <laughs> okay. Alright then. Undock. Well, I know where we're going tonight. With our fancy new light. Whoa! Now maybe we won't run into rocks. Um, it's already so late though that I should probably start heading out there immediately. By the time we get there, I think the red light's gonna be showing. God, this game is so pretty though. It's got a it's got a very nice aesthetic. I can't wait for it to get properly spooky. What is this? Disturbed water? That looks haunted. I got a host eel. Ooh. You know, I should probably save some space for the spooky red light. <laughs> Sustainable fishing reading complete. Hooray! Check cabin for bonuses. I will do that. 10% chance to not reduce fish stocks when catching a fish with a rod. Oh, yeah, cool. Um, pardon? What do we got going on here? What is that spooky light out there? Is that a boat coming to ram me? Oh no! <laughs> no! Cheese it! Is it gone? Oh god. You know, what was I saying about waiting for the boat or the game to become properly spooky? <laughs> Uh, oh. Okay. So this is like a, 
avoid the thing kind of game. Ooh, this is intense. Uh, we got a relic. It's a big ass key right there. That key's bigger than a fish. I guess that makes sense. No, no. Most fish are bigger than keys. All right, let's get out of here. This place is creeping me out. And I'm hearing spooky whisperings. Okay, we got to take it nice and easy so we don't hit a rock. Oh, okay. Those rocks will jump out at you. Oh my god, is that a giant fish skeleton? Okay. Oop. Something slithers into your cargo hold? What? Infected? Get rid of that. I didn't like that fish very much, but uh... I have a feeling that might spread to other fish if I'm not careful. Okay. Oh god, that eyeball's really freaking out up there. Oh my god. <laughs> Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Birds? Get out of here, birds. Can't say I've ever played a fishing game where you can go insane before. Oh my, you look exhausted. You're not forgetting to get some sleep, are you? As I always say, taking frequent breaks is an important part of being productive. Cool. Lighthouse Keeper, Mayor, and the Builder. Ooh. Fishmonger says, don't, you, don't get yourself too worn down. We need you well rested to provide for this town. You know, as far as I can tell, there's not any penalty to, like, just sleep in the day away. Um, anyway, host eel. Numerous glowing shapes flicker and squirm behind a distended rib cage. The rest of the fish is withered and drained. Here you go, buddy. Oh. Does nothing else happen? Do I not get a treasure from its belly? You know, maybe I don't want what's in its belly, actually. <laughs> Okay, we got our blue mackerel, blue mackerel, blue mackerel, and got a couple of, uh, got a couple of damage spots. Man, that would really sink, though, if, if, like, I lost the key or something. Oh, well. Okay, let's go to the shipwright. If you're wanting to get a bit more out of your engines, take a look through this book on the house. Oh, nice. Got a new book. Uh, Repair all. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Is there anything else I can get? Rusty outboard engine. Peculiar engine. Uh, that one goes 14. Is that kilonauts? That one goes 10. Status operational. Oh, I, okay, okay, okay. I was like, why would I buy a lesser engine? I think because I can put it here in the other engine slot. Okay. Um, let's talk to the lighthouse keeper. What is it? Uh, do you know of any shipwrecks around here? She eyes you suspiciously. There's a spot near the back of the Great Marrow where the current carries in wreckage from the sea. Some nights you can see an unnatural glow rising from that patch of dark water. I can't imagine what's down there in the deep. I can because I've dredged it. <laughs> so if you're looking for what I think you're looking for... It's best you move on. Uh, have you heard of any strange things happening? I see plenty of strange things from atop the lighthouse. Sometimes I don't whether I don't know whether or not I can trust my own eyes. She holds the lantern up so that it shines brightly onto your face. Are you really standing here in front of me? Or is this just another of the fog's tricks? Um who lives on Blackstone Isle? I see a lot from up here, you know. I saw that ill-fated boat return. I chose to look the other way. I watched an unnatural glow flicker through those windows. Whatever you've got planned, I hope you know what you're doing out there. Spooky. Okay, I should go. Uh, let's talk to the builder. You approach a woman sitting on the dockside, staring out to sea. She turns to you. What's it like out there? Um... <laughs> it's difficult. 
It's gotta be a damn sight better than this bloody town. I think I just need to get away for a while. Maybe not come back. Going backwards is a mistake, don't you think? You should always keep moving forward. Moving along. I can't go back. She's gazing out to sea again, lost in thought. Say, if you find me some materials, maybe you can help me now. help me move. I mean, really move. There's an island I've heard about. Steel Point, just to the north. Two units of lumber and two units of scrap is all I need. I can make a new place for myself out there. You'd be welcome to visit, too. Just stack it up at Steel Point, when you have anything. I'll pay you when the job's done. Noted. Uh... What else do we have left to do? I don't think anything. Uh, we're going a bit bonkers right now, so let's rest. <laughs> I may have to, like, rest the entire day away? But maybe that's fine. Two, three, four, five. It's 6 a.m. We're doing good. We kind of, like, slept for 24 hours, but I think we deserved it. I think we deserve a little nap after that. Uh, let's undock. Oh wait, before we do that, uh, let's set our book to correct engine operation. Okay. Oh, right. I forgot about the squid and the grouper. <laughs> I got so distracted with relics and such. Um, I think that is where the lady wants to move, but I'm heading straight to Blackstone Isle. Maybe we can find out a little more. Actually, did I read the description of this key? An abnormally large and heavy key, cast from an unfamiliar metal. The teeth of the key are curved and sway before your eyes like tendril. Ooh. Eh, uh, you know what? Yeah, let's do a little fishing on the way there. <laughs> Back it up. Oh, okay. <laughs> that spot only had one fish, I guess. Ooh, what's that over there? Something's making something. I think that's the sign that there may be a purple fish here. Uh, but we don't have the right equipment for that, so let's move on. I keep wanting to hold shift to try to, like, turbo boost the boat. <laughs> I don't think that's a thing. All right, buddy, I got your key. Why is it shaking like that? I think that might have been a bug, but it was very spooky. You enter the collector's house. He's standing at the back of the room, still holding the silver and crimson book. He seems impatient. Well, you have something, don't you? Show me. You hand him the key. The cold metal shimmers a strange shine as he holds it. The shape of the key, the teeth, the head, now somehow seem changed. Smaller. Has it always been this way? Is this all? Where's the lock? The collector grows agitated. It seems the pieces we're looking for have traveled further than I anticipated. Much further, I suspect. But all the same, they must be found. I never said this would be easy. I suppose we'll see if you have what it takes soon enough. Raise the truth in... Dredge! Expand your catch with a variety of fishing styles. Oh my god, okay, this was so good. Acquire powerful abyssal abilities. Salvage wrecks to upgrade your own vessel. Brave the dark waters of five unique zones. I don't think we're catching that fish. Expand your catch with a variety of fishing styles. Ooh, we can use a net. Acquire, yep, okay, okay, I think it's looping now. <laughs> anyway, holy crap, this game is really good. Um, once again, this game isn't out yet. Um, I forget what the release date is. I'll put it up on screen. Uh, but the demo is out now on Steam. You can download it. You can play it yourself. Um, I, this is going to be a hot game when it comes out, I think. Um, it's a great combination of just kind of like sort of, you know, it's like chill fishing combined with, like, night terrors. <laughs> like, oh my god, the the boat, the boat coming out of the darkness to ram me, but then it turned into an anglerfish. Oh my god. 
Okay, yeah, I'm just gushing now. I don't really have anything constructive or, you know, interesting to say other than this was amazing. I cannot wait for the full game to come out. Thank you so much for watching all. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, leave a comment to appease the algorithm, and hit subscribe for more spooky horror game demos. Uh, also, phasmophobia guides. Also, you can check me out on Twitch for horror and phasmophobia live streams. Also, check me out, uh, well, on any of my social medias. I got Twitter, I got Instagram, I got TikTok. They're all down in the description. If you'd like to support the channel, head on over to patreon.com slash don'tfightducks where you can get your name in the credits like these fine folks here. Special shout out to Patreon super supporters, Anna Swan, Burger and Fries, and Strawberries and Turtles. Oh, also you can check me out on don'tfightducks.com. Check out my merch. I'm really proud of it. <laughs> anyway, that's all I got for today, so uh, I'll see you next time, and uh, thank you for watching.